down at the Manchester Opera House. There's an actual, hello, someone in there. Uh, we've got a Reliant there. We come over to the bar, the Nags Head. Now, this, of course, a show that has been the West End for four years, a man whose project is close to the heart. Hello, mate. What's your name? My name is OJ. <laughs> I don't know where that oh, accent like, came from. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, four I'm, years I'm a gentle, sympathetic granddad. You are All a granddad. Right, Del boy. A granddad and an uncle as and well. And Uncle Albert as well, yeah. And the last time I saw you was in a river. Fishing. Yeah, yeah, you jumped in quite fearlessly. Yeah, yeah, I did. Slid in was probably more to the point. But the thing to say is, though, that you're an actor, you're a comedian, music's in your blood. This project has been very close to your heart. Uh, very much so, yeah, because um, it... Only Fools and Horses is so well loved. The idea of doing a musical was quite daunting. Yeah. Except that John Sullivan, the creator and writer of, you know, all of, all of this, um, wanted to do a musical version of Only Fools and Horses. Sadly, he died very young and he'd only done... He'd written one song with Chaz Hodges. Is that all? Just one song? Yeah, written? one song, yeah. And then Jim Sullivan, his son, wanted to kind of honour his dad's legacy by continuing the project. So they came to me and asked if I'd do it. And I was like... Well, did you, did not, you say yes immediately? No, I didn't say yes immediately. Did you go, no, no I can't touch this, this is to be loved. No. And, uh, but as uh, one of my mates said, oh, right, yeah, no pressure, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I had a few sleepless nights. And, yeah. and then said yes. And then I said yes. No, I'll tell you what I did. I wrote a song, kind of wrote yeah. a song, you know, with Chaz Hodges. Yeah. And uh, it seemed to come out quite well. And I thought, oh, right, that gave me then the sort of, you know, the impetus to carry on. But I didn't want to do it straight away because it's... You know, it's so well loved. It's ingrained. The most in loved, yes. possibly, if you believe. You know, it's it's the most yeah. loved sitcom. Like you're you're the most loved TV presenter. Well, I didn't want to toot my own horn. <laughs> there was a vote you're of always one. tooting your own horn. <laughs> no, especially when I fall into rivers. Uh, the thing is, though, I mentioned that the, uh, there is music in your blood. You mm. come from a musical family. Yeah, very musical family. My, my mum actually sang f uh, for the Welsh National Opera at one point. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. Yeah. Can you is. sing? Can you sing opera style? Cabella cosa na giornata sola. So that's a no. That's a no. <laughs> uh, and uh, you yeah, it was an opera. It's a Neapolitan song, actually. Um, so you play two characters. <laughs> you didn't know that. No, I didn't know no, that. You I didn't, didn't know. know. Um, you play two characters. I do. What is that change like? Because you have to put a big beard on. Oh, I do. I have to run out the back very quickly. There's, there's more chaos out the back during the show than oh, there is on stage, yeah, because uh, there are a few quick changes. Uh, Cassandra also plays Marley. Yeah. I think you might be seeing her. I later. will do in just a second. And uh, yeah, I run and I do a sort of very panto version of Uncle Albert at the end. It's War. good. Yeah, like it's that, good. you know, and a lot of beard acting. Paul, it's a pleasure to see you Thank you very much. Thank you. Very lovely to see you, especially in the theatre. Yes, in the theatre, yeah. my natural home. It is his natural home. But here we are, this is the amazing set. As you can see, it's full of all the amazing nostalgic things we see. We've got the nice head, you see the, the, sh the chandelier behind us. And if we come over to this lovely yellow car, which is a replica. Whoop, we, there we go. God, don't one, break the two, door. One, two. <laughs> Did you break this door? It's a bit hooky, the van. Vinnie Jones broke this door, didn't he? <laughs> Vinnie Jones has been playing with my van. Yes, and, he has. Uh, we need to have a word with him. Uh, we find Sam Lupton, who plays Del Boy, Hello. and Tom Major who plays Rodney as well. Um, first off, I mean, this is a pressurised role, knowing that it's the yeah. role that made David Jason famous. Yeah, people love Del. So it, that when I first got the call, the first feeling was terror. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Has he been to see the show yet? Not yet. No. no. And he's teased that he might fancy coming along. So, David, let me know if you're coming. Yeah, yeah. But, just, um, just keep coming every single yeah, night. Yeah, I've kind of asked that I'm not told. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Up. And Tom as well, I mean, you've been part of this show for a while now. What is the brother brotherly relation like? Uh, uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, we spent a lot of time together to try and build that chemistry and, um, yeah. you know, to our um, pleasure, we kind of find out we're, we're like the brothers anyway. You know, there's a lot yeah. of bickering, yeah. but a lot of love as well, so it kind of came quite easily to us. And I, I find him incredibly irritating. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah. Like yeah, vice versa, vice yeah. versa. Uh, a wonderful jacket. <laughs> yes, this original. is... Original. This is... Well, it's, it's an original jacket. It's not yes. a fake jacket. But, uh, no, yeah, it's uh, an, on a morning like this morning. It's perfect. Perfect. Favourite yeah. catchphrase? Uh, La plume de matonde. Favourite catchphrase? My name ain't Dave, it's Rodney. Ah! <laughs> uh, and just to say as well, this is one of the original um, items from the set yeah, it is. in Mandela House. It's a lovely House. lion. It is a lovely yeah. lion as well. And then we come over here and we find Georgina <laughs> Hagen, who plays Raquel, and Nicole Nicolemans, who plays Cassandra and Marlene. And I guess the first question is, you have so many quick changes during the show, don't you? Yes, I do, because I play... Cassandra and Marlene. Yeah. Um, there are eight, I think, all eight. in all. 
Yeah. That's a lot of changes. What's the what's the shortest amount of time you get? Um, so it's about seven seconds, seven and it's seconds. in the finale because I bow as Marlene, and then I run round the back here, do my quick change, about seven seconds, and then come through those doors wow. as uh, Cassandra. Yeah. So. And Georgina, I yes. do believe um, Delboy's hoping to find his soulmate on this very stage during this show. He is, as is Raquel, yeah. actually, and it becomes one of the main driving um, forces of the show, of the plot. Um, and they come together in quite, a, quite an unusual way. They both go to a dating agency and uh, lie a little bit about themselves. <laughs> and uh, they, I think they both bring out each other's vulnerabilities, which I think is why they work. Which is why we come to see the show, for yeah. all the comedy and the humour and the beautifulness that goes with it as well. So there you go, it's a fabulous stage show, the only Falls of Music Horses stage show. It is touring until July 2025 in Dublin. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. He'd been practicing it all morning as well. Did you get a little bit of it before a pro? <laughs> <laughs> He's all right.